Good morning, y'all. It has been so long since I've posted to YouTube, but um, the reason being is because the girl that was doing my videos moved away to a different state. I miss you, Pam. Um, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, I do miss you, but um, I'm just super grateful for everything that you did. But I got an iPhone, so I think I've kind of figured out how I can do the videos. They're not going to be beautiful and pretty like she was doing, but I think I figured out how to do it. So with that being said, I'm going to start posting to YouTube again. I'm super excited. Um, we have had a lot happen since I last posted to YouTube, so I'm going to try to update everything. But we had two new additions to the homestead um, last night that are huge and I am super excited to share it with everybody. So I'm going to share them on this video and yeah, guys, this, okay. So I'm just going to say this, this is a huge, huge dream. This whole homestead thing is a huge dream of mine and Austin's since pretty much the beginning, since we first got married, which is almost seven years ago now right? Yeah. Anyways. <laughs> um, so just the fact that God provided for us to get the space and it already had a lot of what we needed and, um, it had the hundred year old house that we could restore. And it's just been absolutely amazing to be on this journey. And I know that we have all of this for a reason and for a time. And I'm not sure what that is yet. I know that God has been preparing my heart for something. I don't know what it is, but I know that I am here and getting things ready and willing to do whatever it is that he calls us to do. So that being said, I'm going to introduce our two new animals on the homestead and I'm super excited. So here they are. Good morning. I'm going to show you our surprise. I'm super excited. They are super sweet. Um, okay, I'm just going to show okay. you. This is Betty Sue, the cow, and Princess, the mini horse. So, okay, so I'm going to show you. Um, they are not big at all. They are, the horse is a mini horse. Um, so this is me standing. That's them. Um, the horse is a mini horse and um, she was saved from going to slaughter. Um, the lady that I got her from saved her and she had a foal with her. They kept the foal um, and she's possibly bred again from the place where they got her from. So it was a guy that just got the horses to put on a carousel like at a fair for kids to ride on. and. I'm thinking he probably did not take very good care of her um so she is underweight but we're working on the diet that they were working on to get her some um weight back on her and then we have the vet coming out too so we'll talk to him about it um and then the cow betty sue um she is not i don't think technically a mini but she's a low line angus which was bred to be smaller um so she is she's the same size as the horse actually um so they're both very small and which is perfect for our homestead you know what we have going on um and the cow is possibly bred as well so we're gonna have both of them checked to see if they're pregnant and have mabel checked um to see if she's pregnant and then um the vet will check them out make sure everything's good um but they are so sweet like we just got them yesterday evening, like around five o'clock. Um, and they have just been like <laughs> walking around. Austin said he came out here last night and the horse would um, start eating in one spot and then look up and like neigh really loudly and then run to another spot in the yard and start eating some of the grass and then neigh really loudly. And then, and every time she neighed, Rosie flipped out because Rosie's like, what are these things that you brought here? So. I've been working with Rosie with um, the goats and the sheep. Um, I ended up having to just put a shot collar on her and just vibrating it when she starts chasing them when they're running um, because she refuses to wear a leash or a muzzle or anything like that. She just pulls it right off. So 
Um, and when I do vibrate her, like I do it once and she drops immediately. So that's good. Um, but I'm going to have to put it back on her and bring her out here with the horse and the cow because they've been around dogs. So I think they'll be fine. But, um, Rosie's like, I don't know what these things are, but they're in my space. <laughs> so I'm going to have to get her used to them and let her know that they're okay. But yeah, they are so sweet. I came out here last night after we had first gotten them and um i was gonna start feeding the animals and we have alfalfa hay that we bought from tractor supply when handy mart was closed and it's like in a package we had it wrapped up in um a tarp and i come out here they're eating it right now actually i pulled some out for them i come out here and the cow's head is in the tarp and she pulls her head out and she's got green just covering her whole nose and face and everything and she just looks at me like, what? <laughs> it was so funny. Ugh. They're so sweet, y'all. I'm so excited. Like, I almost cried when they dropped them off yesterday because I'm just, we're just so blessed. God has blessed us, like, so much. And I can't wait to start giving that blessing back and out to other people. Um, but, yeah, I'm just excited, so that's what's new on the homestead <laughs>